So, looks like Wenger's staying at Arsenal. And it's what we expected, to be honest. However, it's unconfirmed news. Obviously, his contract runs out tomorrow. Like, they're deciding, they're deciding his future tomorrow, but... There's been huge speculation like all over the internet, all over Twitter that like he he is staying, but it's just unconfirmed. They just need to wait till tomorrow to announce it. And yeah, it looks like he we're gonna be putting up with Wenger for another two years. I mean, uh, just hopefully, just just hopefully he changes up. Like hopefully he just patterns because. If he's going to be staying for the next two years, he needs to make sure that in those two years, we need to be hitting our targets of winning the Premier League, winning Champions League, attract like, winning trophies in general, attracting big players as well. He needs to make sure that because the past past 13 years, he's not been doing that and it's evident that, that we've not won the league in 13 years. So, like, so my personal opinion, I think it's I think it's wrong to give him a new contract. Like, I think he should have he should have flipping it resigned. Like, after he should have announced that he's leaving after the FA Cup because like, he could have left on a high. To be honest, like, because it, it would be something good to remember him by winning the FA Cup against Chelsea and the manner that we won it as well. But to be honest, I'm not gonna come on here just to, to run and like flip him, cuss out Wenger like that how it usually goes. But because like it was expected, like I knew this was gonna happen. Because I'm sorry, but if he was if if we knew that he was leaving, he would have announced it ages ago. He would have announced it around like Christmas time, and it's something, it's something that he like even if he was staying, he should have. It's something that he should have announced during the season because, in my opinion, him not, him not telling us if he's staying or not really, really like affected how it was this season because, like the fan, like the fans were toxic. Like you had your Wenger ins and Wenger outs, like huge, huge conflict between them. Like basically a flipping civil war. Like, it affected the players as well, and like, yeah, obviously we finished. Fifth in the Europa, we finished fifth in the Premier League as well. So therefore, we're not even gonna have Champions League football. So I don't even know how we're gonna really attract the big players and do good. But to be honest, like since we are in the Europa League, like we really, really need to like dig deep into our pockets to flip and get some players because playing on Thursday nights and then playing like on a Sunday straight away, our squad will it'll be they'll be so tired. So. Like Wenger needs to flip him, get in some players, and hopefully just improve that. Like, and hopefully next season he can deliver us the title that we can. But for now, for now I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not really happy. Like until I see stuff happen, then that's when I'm gonna be like flipping, holding my hand up, saying yeah, he's he's done. He's done his job. But that's that. Obviously, it's not is to be honest. It's not even confirmed yet that he's staying. So like, you never know. Like, they could drop a bombshell and say that he's actually leaving. Like, phew, like you could just imagine the uproar that would cause if he was to actually be leaving. Because this this is all unconfirmed news. It's not it's not come out from Arsenal. Nothing. It's just speculation on Sky Sports and all of that. But yeah, obviously like. I'll keep you updated, keep you up posted if anything else happens and yeah. See you for now. Goodbye.